Well, this number will make you cringe just a little bit. Did you know that here in America, every year, just in vegetables alone, let's not even get me started on the fruits and the pastries and everything else that we spend our hard-earned cash on, just on vegetables alone, we throw away about 30 billion, 30 billion with a B, dollars worth of vegetables that go bad simply before we can eat them. Well, we are changing the game for you today because we've got Debbie Meyer back with her incredible ultralight green boxes as your best buy of the day and boy it's a good one she's never brought a configuration this big before she's giving you 80 pieces in your kitchen. I'll tell you everything that you're getting, but what are they gonna do for you? Simply by storing your fruits and your vegetables and your breads and your cookies and your chips and things like that in the ultralight green boxes, instead of what you're in storing them in now, they are gonna last days and weeks longer. So we'll tell you why it's a proprietary natural ingredient that's gonna do that for you, but here's what you're getting. 80 pieces. This is the 64 ounce. Two of these will hold an entire your loaf of bread you are getting eight of those your 32 ounce right here perfect for your lunch perfect for uh, maybe your cookies whatever it may be you're getting eight of those here's your 24 ounce down here you're getting 12 of the 24 ounce and then you're getting 12 of the 16 ounce right here all of these by the way of course can stack and nest so, so they don't take a lot of space in your kitchen they're bpa free they're dishwasher safe and they are the best value that they've ever been if there is one thing i mean I, honestly it's on the top of the list of things that simply pay for themselves once you get them home. Try them for 30 days for only $8.74 on your charge card. If you have the green boxes already at home, be a part of our show. We'll put the testimonial line up on our screen. But you want to see what fruits and veggies look like after maybe a week or two or three weeks in the ultralight green boxes? Debbie Meyer is here to show you. Hello. I am. Hi, Nice again. to see you again. Absolutely. All Thank right. You. Show us what we already know. So many of us already know. So many of you know. Know, millions and millions of people have millions and millions and millions of my boxes in use right now. Millions of them have been sold. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that means they work because I couldn't have repeat customers if they didn't. These are my green boxes. This is the biggest set I've ever done. This means it's the most money you're ever going to save. Right. <laughs> That's so you, true. You've got so many boxes to save so much food in. Look at the difference in strawberries right here. You recognize this. You've seen this. You've had those little plastic bins that you buy in the store, mm -hmm. and you get them home, and in a day or two, you've got strawberries to look like that. Well, at nine days, they would look like this, but nine days simply stored in my ultralight green boxes, they look like this. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. And all I did was remove these from original packaging, put them in my green box, and stored them. That nine days, is from the independent scientific laboratory that tested my boxes for efficacy. And they yep. said, that's what you can expect in terms of how long things will last. You're going to see different dates all over the table because different fruits and vegetables were tested at different levels. My boxes are made with my proprietary formula of natural ingredients. Those ingredients are part of the construction of this box. You cannot wash it out or wear it out. It's not painted on, it's not a coating. It's, in, it's part of the construction of the box, so as long as that box exists, it works. Exactly. And what, is, what do we say about working? My boxes will extend the life of fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and snacks. That is shown in independent laboratory testing, and that's why I can say it to you here today. And I've been saying it here at HSN for almost 13 years. Mm -hmm. My boxes are BPA-free, uh, BPA yep. top-rack dishwasher safe, and proudly made right here in America. So all you're going to do is exactly what you currently do. You put strawberries in there, like you want to keep them in the fridge, that's fine. If you keep something, you put something else in there that you ordinarily keep out of the fridge, keep it out of the fridge. You don't have to do anything different. Yep. Come back here, because I want to show you this. Don't forget, they're also for baked goods. This is what the independent laboratory said you can expect at 11 days. It's disgusting. Wow. It's disgusting, and we've all been there. Yes, and I don't want to ever stick my hand in a bag and come out with that again. No. Instead, look at these bagels versus that bagel, 11 days. These are perfect, exactly the way you, they're nice spongy bagels. Look at these English muffins. These are these yeasty, oh, I love the smell. Mm, oh, I smell it. Oh, oh, I love that smell. Oh my gosh. That it's soft, like yeasty it feel. On it. That's also 11 <laughs> days. Yeah. That's so good. Go get some of that almond butter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can snack while we I eat. love it. Yeah. 
These are also 11 days. 11 day bread. Two of this, now you're getting eight of my box in 64 ounce boxes. Two of them holds an entire loaf of bread. I store them just like this in a drawer in my pantry because that's where I keep my bread. We're saving money by making sandwiches, taking sandwiches to work, sending them to school, maybe to camp shortly, all that. This is what you want to find. Yep. Not that. Nope. And smell that. It's, oh, oh my it. gosh. I loved it earlier when a caller said, he loves to just open one of my green boxes and, and they, smell the bread. It's fresh. Yeah, <laughs> Because it's just like a bakery. And you know, for every time you've opened bread and found this, oh. remember when you were standing at the bakery or in that aisle and thinking, gosh, bre bre bread is expensive. And or English it's a muffins. whole loaf. I'm never going to get through a whole exactly. loaf. Exactly. Yes, you will. Yeah, now because you will. now you have me, and I'm going to take care of all this for you. My boxes are going to take care of ethylene gas, which is the natural ripening gas that comes off of every fruit and vegetable as it ripens. That's what actually rots your fruits and vegetables. That's why you want to put them into my ultralight green boxes. That will slow down the process. You will get to have what you wanted to eat in the first place mm -hmm. on your dinner table, in your lunchbox, wherever it is, instead of in the garbage can. That's 14 days. This is 14 days. I'm going to cut open a tomato for you so that you can see what a tomato looks like at 14 days stored in my ultralight green boxes. It's perfect. Look at how gorgeous it's that perfect. tomato is. It looks like you just bought it. And I don't care if you grow them, buy them, pick them, whatever, wherever you get your yep. fruits and vegetables from, they will benefit from being in my ultralight green box because like I said, I will slow down the process. Mother Nature wants to speed it up mm -hmm. and send them back to Earth, right? <laughs> they, she wants those seeds back in the ground. Well, I want all of this back into my family. Well, exactly. It, it's no, it, you're no longer standing in front of your refrigerator saying, oh, we oh, didn't get to the mushrooms fast yeah, enough. Uh, gosh, those were expensive. Oh my gosh, and I buy them pre-sliced because I like the convenience. I do too. All right, but they go off faster. Sure. Anytime a fruit or vegetable is sliced or diced or whatever, actually more ethylene gas is produced, so they go off faster. But at nine days, you can have that garbage or you can have these gorgeous white fresh yeah. mushrooms exactly. to eat. And this is, the th this is the 32 ounce box. You're getting eight of those. You're getting eight of the 64 ounce boxes. There's other sizes here that I'm gonna show you in a moment. I have a look at my lettuce, 21 days. I picked it up earlier and put my thumb through it, so I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yes, exactly, I was, I was cleaning my thumb for a long time. 21 days, this is also 21 days. I want you to hear the difference, and Carrie's gonna smell the difference for you. Okay. Christmas, we can hear, hear it, it's mouthwatering. Is that? Oh, oh. I love Oh my gosh, I, like I said, it just makes me want to have taco night. I want to slice it up. Yeah, I know, there's so much here that you can use. Mm -hmm. Now remember too, just because I'm showing you whole fruits and vegetables on, on the table, doesn't mean they have to be whole. Once you've broken this up, I'm only gonna use maybe this much, I put what's left is back in the, in the box, let it continue to keep that lettuce fresh as well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be all whole. And here's another thing, people ask me, should I wash my fruits and vegetables before I put them in the box? I don't. I wash them as I'm about to use them. Even though if I cut them up in advance to prep them, mm -hmm. I wash them when I'm about to use them because I don't want you to add more moisture. Moisture is a natural part of fruits and vegetables. It will actually give, they will actually give off some moisture. You'll see it inside the box. That doesn't affect the box. It's nothing to do with the box. It's the natural part of the fruits and vegetables. Take one of my genius sponges, take a paper towel, whatever you like, wipe out the, the moisture, you're done. You're good That's to go. That's all you do. Largest configuration ever, if I may jump in. Yeah, best value that Debbie's ever brought to us. The Look fact that you're that. getting 80 pieces and you get to try them on your charge card for $8.74. For all the skeptics. Debbie, I told you I was one. Yep. I think this is the one thing that I'm asked about where people say, does that really work? <laughs> I find I finally got them home. When I switched to organic, I was like, everything's expensive. I need it yes. to last, especially, right? This absolutely works. You have 30 days to experience it for yourself. This Look is this. three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks of celery. This, I mean, this, <laughs> and you don't have to be embarrassed. This is exactly why I created these boxes. Mm -hmm. I would find things like this in the bottom of that thing they call a crisper drawer. Right. That is dead food. This is live food. Look at the color difference alone and listen to this. Hear that? And I am now yeah. soaking celery wet. <laughs> but it, it's worth it because I can get to show you how much moisture is in that celery at three weeks. Let's talk superfoods, okay. super berries. These three berries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, very, very important to your diet. People are talking about them all the time. Mm -hmm. All these shows you're watching, nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. 
Expensive, expensive, expensive. Exactly. For the tiniest <laughs> little container, it's so expensive. But the difference is, look at that raspberry at nine days. Nine Roll days. it in my hand. It's not gushy. It's not mushy. It's still perfect. Mm. Blueberries. I can help myself to a handful of blueberries and not worry about them gushing and mushing in my hand. They're still wonderful at nine days. Wow. Blackberries, the most expensive of all that we have here on the table. Yeah, but boy, they're good. Oh, luscious. Look how plump and it's delicious. It's a jewel. Isn't it like a jewel? Yeah, it really is. And I'm rolling it around, and it's also perfect. At nine days, the independent laboratory testing tells you you can expect these results. I showed you the grapes at 14 days, lettuce at 21 days. Talk about a flex pay. It exists on this plate. That is so true. Because sometimes a pepper will be four dollars each, uh -huh. and especially if they're yellow. Uh -huh. Why is that? And I don't know. And I'm wishing somebody would tell me. Because, <laughs> right. like, I want yellow, but yes. I'm going to buy green. I, why yeah. is that? I have no idea, and it's really fascinating to me. But this yellow pepper is the same age as that yellow pepper. Three weeks. No. Absolutely. Oh look at this gosh. red. Look at this red pepper. Oh. The same age. Money in the garbage. Absolutely. Right there. Look at that green pepper, shriveled to pieces. This. Listen. That's what a fresh pepper sounds like. However, this pepper is also 21 days, three weeks fresh. Look at the moisture in that pepper. And you gotta smell this, because I'm getting it over here without. Oh I'm on the gosh. other side of the table and I can smell yeah. it. It's delicious. You know what's great is when you get a hankering for that pepper, it is still fresh in your refrigerator. That's and, the thing. Going and, you know and finding this and putting it in the garbage, you might as well take that money right out of your wallet Just and throw it right in the garbage. That's Absolutely. how I feel. Now, I've got that piece of pepper left, right? We ate that. Carrie and I shared that part of the pepper. We have uh -huh. this left. Uh -huh. goes back in the box. Put the lid on and then put it away. Go. It's still going to last for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Let me explain a little bit about the science again for you. Okay. Okay. Ethylene gas. Air is not your enemy. Fruits and vegetables, it's not the air. It's the ethylene gas. Mm -hmm. It's their own natural ripening gas. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it. But all over this table, wherever you see fruits and vegetables, there's ethylene gas hanging around. Mm. The only way I can show it to you is trapped in a bag. That's a salad, cut salad that we love because it's convenient. Yeah. But that's not air. That is the ethylene gas. It's come out of that salad, and look at the salad. Yeah. That's the result. Yuck. So you're trapping that ethylene gas. If you buy one of these bags, open it, take some out, try to reseal it. Whether you heat seal it, paper clip it, chip clip it, whatever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rubber band, whatever. You're only sealing in the problem that caused it in the first place. You're sealing in the ethylene gas. Yeah. So if you use ordinary plastic bags, ordinary plastic boxes, glass box, whatever, a container that isn't my Debbie Meyer technology, you are actually trapping the gas in. You're not keeping anything out. Exactly. You're trapping what's in the box. Listen, and we're gonna get to the fact that it is so much more. It's your pastries, it's your cookies, yes. it's your baked goods, it's going, your croutons. I mean, those I mean, always seem to go. And this is my salad bar at home because yeah. I don't like it when people, I make a beautiful salad and I watch people push things to the side of their plate. Sure. Okay, you know, I don't particularly like olives, but you know, so totally. I, when you push things away, it means you have to throw them away because it's in, been in someone's salad. We make a salad bar, we can pack up a salad bar, take it with us to the beach, to the park, whatever, exactly. and have healthy things to eat instead of eating from what I call the greasy truck. 100%, right? Your cookies, that container that it comes in. Which kind of cookie do you like better? Do you and like the soft? soft cookie, yes. You're the soft Yes, and I saw that cookie. there's, is that an oatmeal one down there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get in there with this. Sure, mm -hmm. go ahead. Oh, oh, go ahead. And they're so touch. fresh, I can't even get them. Yeah, they're, they're that soft. You're like, can you take the one on the top, <laughs> please? Look how soft it's it is. A, I mean, let me show everybody. How <laughs> old? How old? 42 days. A 42 year, uh, 42 yeah. year. <laughs> That's asking a little bit. That much. would be different. Uh, this is a 42 day <laughs> cookie that's falling apart in my hands. It is so, so incredibly fresh. It's, maybe it's, it's your soft. brownies or And that's girls because cookies. at 42 days, independent laboratory testing said you, that baked goods did not lose their taste, texture, or aroma, which are the things we love best about baked goods. <laughs> and, that's, and if you have soft baked, keep them separate from crispy. So if you have crispy cookies versus soft cookies in any way, keep them separate oh. because you don't want to the soft ones to make the hard ones soft. Oh, right? see, that's good to yeah. know. Good to know. There is a nice cake. 
Perfect. Upside down, 64 ounce, makes a cake plate. Let me show everybody what you're getting again. Absolutely. And let me tell you that alarming statistic that here in America, <laughs> just on veggies, and we're showing you fruits and all the baked goods as well, but just on veggies, we throw away an estimated 30 billion, with a B, dollars a year in veggies that, that go bad before we get to them. How much of that is coming out of your pocket? Think about the money that you go back when you are buying the fruits and vegetables, when you're buying those mushrooms to go back with the steak that you're barbecuing this weekend, because they went went bad and you had to rebuy them. I mean, that's just cash in the trash. These ultralight green boxes will pay for themselves time and time and time and time again. They do, the, the proprietary ingredients do not wash out. They're dishwasher safe. You will use them over and over and over again. And this is the biggest configuration. We had a wonderful caller a little while ago that said, you know what? I've already got them at home. I wanted more. I'm stocking up with my neighbor and I'm splitting them with her. And, you know, that's a smart thing to do when you're getting 80 of them or they they're all for you. Let me tell you what you're getting. So the 64 ounce, and remember, you can put your, your sliced bread in here. Two of these holds an entire loaf. Uh, you are getting eight of the 64 ounce. Your 32 ounce right here, this is going to, you're getting eight eight of them with the lids. Then you're also getting 12 of the 24 ounce and then 12 of the 16 ounce. So they all stack together. So they're not going to take up a lot of space in your cabinet. But if you're buying the bags that you have to, you know, zip close and you use those one time and throw them away, if you're using other containers that simply aren't keeping your fruits and vegetables and your baked goods good until you're ready to eat them, this is your moment to say, I'm done. Don't you have that moment? For us, it was grocery store day. We'd go to the store, and then we'd come home, and we would open the refrigerator, and we'd pull the trash over to the refrigerator and because there's room. so much. Right. You make room by throwing away all the stuff that you never got to eat. Imagine it just being ready for you when you want to eat it. This is laboratory tested and proved to work. That's right. And after millions and millions and millions of people using them, you know they work. Yeah. We get calls all the time about people's experience, sharing their experiences. In fact, someone called today also about portion control, that she can actually mm. portion things out because you're getting those 24 ounce and those 16 ounce boxes that are perfect. Yeah. I can portion yeah. out even baby carrots and say to my grandson, I want you to eat this many baby carrots while you're at my house. There you go. And that he has to eat that. So he knows that that's his little box. Have a yeah. look at these carrots. Okay. What did I call them today? The yoga, the yoga carrots. <laughs> okay, this is a downward dog carrot. Uh, no carrot should do this. That would be funny, but it is my money. And that was what I used to find in that thing they call the crisper drawer. Tell me why. That is not good for you. It is not in any way. You should never try to, actually, you should never try to peel this off and make do with what's inside. And a lot of people do that. Oh. They think if they're juicing that they can actually use something that's a little over the edge. You cannot mm. because you do not know how deeply the bad stuff goes. Yeah. This is what you want. This is a 64 ounce box. Look how many carrots are in there. Yep. If I want to juice carrots or I want to make baby food, hear that. At three weeks, right to the tip. Look at that. Fresh. Color. Moisture. Delicious. Amazing. Nutrition. Not in the garbage where you're, you know, you don't want your money to That's be. three weeks. Yep. Two weeks on cabbage. That's the same head of cabbage. Yep. Split it in half. Mm -hmm. Two weeks on cauliflower. You know how fast cauliflower turns color and gets brown and gets moldy. Yep. This is 14 days, two weeks. Here are my, these are my yoga green beans. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually tie this into a fruit. knot. I did it earlier. There it is. It's in a knot. Beans shouldn't do that. No beans should be foldable. You want green beans that are snappable. <gasps> two weeks. Two weeks. Amazing. Oh, I love this smell. I, I, I keep saying, I, I call the produce aisle the aisle of best intentions. Yeah. <laughs> we love the way it looks. Yeah. You, you see the most gorgeous things in the aisle and you buy them and you bring them home and you turn them into garbage. Exactly. Why are you doing that? You do not have to waste your food dollar. I've never heard one person say to me, you know what, I don't care if I throw away those baby carrots. It right. really doesn't, it's not expensive. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't right. mean anything to me. I'll buy some more. I've never heard a person say it's okay to throw away food, especially my mother. But <laughs> Well, I'll tell you yeah. what. I mean, listen, and let me say that to statistic again. $30 billion a year just on our veggies is going in the garbage because they are going yeah. bad before we can get to them. This is your opportunity to, to you know, preserve your fruits and veggies and your pastries. This will pay for itself. 21 That's the days. best way to describe. 21 days. 21 days. Garbage. This Dinner. That's exactly right. <laughs> I mean, it's the Dead truth. food, live food. Right. Want to hear live food? Yes. Crisp and delicious. Uh, oh, you how, know, how, three, three weeks? Three weeks. 
Mm. You know, people yeah. ask me what happens to all this food after the end of my cells. Mm -hmm. All of this food, except for the rotten stuff, goes home with me. Yeah. It goes into my fridge. It goes yeah. on my, in my pantry, on my countertop. And we eat it because I know that everything that's been stored in my green boxes is yep. still fresh and still delicious. Largest configuration that Debbie's ever, ever brought to us. Ever. $8 and change on your charge card. Barbara in New Jersey. Yeah. Welcome into HSN. I understand it is the first time that you've purchased the ultralight green boxes. Oh. Yes, it is. Yes, tell us why. But I have bought your bags prior. Oh, oh good. Okay, and so you've been using them because it's right now it's my husband and I. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after you've had kids, you buy, I slice things and I've been using, you know, food saver and stuff. But when I cut that, put it in the bag, it lasts. Thank you. Yes. I'm yes. telling you, I could take, you know, my husband's bologna and put it in a bag, and we have two weeks. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it, it really is. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, you and find yourself. When you came out with these, I'm like, I'm going in my cabinet, and I'm throwing out all that because, you know, we eat fruit, we eat vegetables, but for two people. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you, you know, even if you just buy normally, not in bulk. Right. You right. can't. You can't get it. to it. And, so and why do you want to have to I run back so to the store to buy two? Right. <laughs> you know. I'm so looking forward to yeah. having these come home and I can put, like, I saw the corn, I saw the uh, yep. carrots. Right. You know, because my grandson comes over, you know, maybe once, twice a week. You can't keep that. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. Now you'll be able to. I'm so glad that you tuned in, Barbara. And remember that with my boxes, so you can happy. now keep your breads and baked goods and snacks oh. as well. Debbie, it's like unbelievable. Yeah, you'll save money. It Thank you so pays for itself. much, darling. Absolutely. Thank I you, Barbara. I'm so thankful you came out with these containers, and I already ordered them. Okay. And Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Happy you Easter. Have a wonderful evening. You know, yeah, it we're just talking, makes we're, sense. We're even talking about out of season fruit. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's if crazy. If you really want to have a peach now and mm -hmm. they're not in season, go ahead. Because you can keep them in my boxes 14 days. That's two weeks in my boxes. Those beautiful pears that I showed you a moment ago, two mm -hmm. weeks. You want to have We've the blush. Or the mush. How expensive you, are these, right? Oh, my gosh. Like and you this. spend time picking out the best ones. Yeah. You bring them home and turn them into garbage. What yeah. do you do? You throw those away, go back to the store and buy some more pears. Yeah, okay. I know. Those become the most expensive pears in the world. <laughs> right. Brussels sprouts, they're supposed to sound like that. If I take one of those 21-day Brussels sprouts that haven't been in my green boxes, it would be spraying the camera with Brussels sprouts. <laughs> right. Three weeks. Broccoli, and you I saw you, you ran away again. Because <laughs> that broccoli stinks. That broccoli is rotten to the core. This broccoli is core. Look at that head of broccoli. It's tight and beautiful and the color it's supposed to be yep. at 21 days. Again, here's all this baked goods. Oh, careful, honey. You know that these tortillas, they turn into mm -hmm. little cardboard they do. discs so gross. in no time? Mm -hmm. No, they don't. Yeah, fresh and that. delicious. Fresh as can be. About a minute and a half left, everybody. I apologize for can the I... interruption. We are busy. Use yeah. hsn.com if you can. And I want to show you Please. because yes. we showed you how big this set is, mm -hmm. right? It's a huge set, 80 pieces. You're looking at it on that table and you're thinking to yourself, where am I going to put it all? Exactly. Okay, Looking I up. don't make new problems for you. I solve problems for all of us. This is the entire 80 piece set right here in my arms. Little tiny footprint, you have room for this. If you have room for those fruits and vegetables in your refrigerator and on your countertop, you have room for these. Put them in my green boxes and it will save you money, it will save you time because you won't run back to the store all the time to replace all the stuff you already so bought. So true. And it's the easiest money you're ever gonna save. Give them away as gifts, Split it up with somebody. You're giving the gift of saving money, and mm -hmm. I don't know a whole lot of things that do that for you. So true. And take a look. I know that we, we kind of skipped over the end here with all of your breads, yes. your cookies, your yep. candies. Use them as gifts. Ice cream cones, chips, chips, crackers, cookies. It keeps all of those fresh longer as well. This will absolutely pay for itself. This configuration has never been seen before, and it's huge. Guys, oh, your popcorn. Yes, That's popcorn. never good past yep. the first night you made it, right? Yep. Here's, here's everything again. Can I show you all again, as, as I know we're busy with more than 14,000 of these gone just today, but let's be honest, the green boxes here at HSN, millions and millions of them have been spoken for. So the 64 ounce right here, that's your largest one, you get eight 
of those. I just can't believe how big this is. Uh, you're also getting eight of your 32 ounce. Here's your 24 ounce right here. You're getting 12 of those and then 12 of the 16 ounces as well. They're dishwasher safe. They're BPA free. The ingredients are not going to wash out. So you will just use these time and time again so that your lettuce, your carrots, your breads, your everything simply stays fresh for when you're ready to eat it. So no more throwing things in, you know, that you spend a lot of money on in, in the garbage. You're not going to have that happen with your green boxes. We say take the take the challenge. We did. Debbie, I don't think I've ever told you this. When we first got ours, we would put, we did blueberries. We put blueberries in the green boxes and then in a regular container mm -hmm. and put them in the refrigerator because we wanted to see if it was true because I was the biggest skeptic. And I tell you what, the ones in the green boxes, still good. <laughs> the ones not in the green boxes, not good anymore. So you will save so much money. And who doesn't want to save money? And please remember they're proudly made right here in America yep. so you don't have to worry about that. You told me it was important to you. I knew it was important to me. 